What's up guys? I have profited over $200,000 at this point on DraftKings Sportsbook and I don't just say this to hear myself talk, right? The purpose of this video is I want to help you make money on DraftKings. I don't say this to brag, but you can see my profit and loss statement right here from DraftKings from the DraftKings Sportsbook app. And one thing I want to make clear is this video is not not at all a get rich quick scheme right? It's really, it's not at all. This requires hard work and time. If you're lazy, if you don't want to put in the work, you should, you should really switch to another video right now. Um, like I've been scammed before. When I graduated college, I tried tons of different side hustles. I actually just lost, you know, not just lost, but pretty recently, $120,000. You can see right here, BlockFi is a crypto company. I put $120,000 in the company went bankrupt, and I still remember watching a YouTube video that was supposed to teach me about BlockFi. I got scammed into using it. So that's not the point of this video, right? We're not going to be talking about a get-rich-quick scheme. We're going to be talking about how hard work can make you money on DraftKings Sportsbook, right? So I remember like five years ago, I just graduated college. I was broke as can be living in Pennsylvania. I saw an ad like this. For DraftKings Sportsbook, oh, you get a free $1,000 deposit match if you sign up. I signed up and I haven't looked back, right? Now up over $200,000 profit. I love sports. I love gambling. This is something I love to do, right? So I put in a ton of time. Um, when I took my first job out of college, I moved from California to Pennsylvania for the job. I didn't know many people in Pennsylvania. So I was looking for a hobby, right? I was looking for something I could do. And I love sports. I love gambling. I'm a big poker player. I was working as a quantitative trader on Wall Street. So I love gambling, right? I was gambling in financial markets at my job, stock trading, right? It's really similar to sports betting. I love poker. I love taking risk. I love gambling. So long story short, I came to DraftKings and I started betting on DraftKings. And I realized if you put in the work, you can make some serious profits on this sports book. So no BS in this video. I'm just kind of going to run you through. This is how you can make money on DraftKings, right? And how much money can you make doing it? It really depends on how much time you put in, right? You don't need to be rich. You do not need to be rich. You can build your bankroll slowly. Like over five years, I made $200,000. When I graduated college, I had no money. I took my first job, you know, was making some money for my job, funded my DraftKings a bit. And it, in, in, in hard work, five years later, I'm up over $200,000 and I've loved every minute of it, right? I'm betting on sports and watching sports and making money. I mean, what's better than that? So in this video, we're just gonna kind of explain different strategies for making money on DraftKings. Let's get into it, guys. The easiest money you're gonna make off DraftKings, just like the cheapest drink you're gonna get at a bar is gonna be at happy hour, the easiest money you're gonna make on DraftKings comes from promos. So I said they have this like $1,000 deposit match when you first sign up. Some people will be like, what is the catch, right? This pot, you cannot make money with this. And that is not true, right? Sportsbooks offer these promos because they're all in ruthless competition with one another, you know, trying to get new customers to sign up. FanDuel's competing with DraftKings. They're all trying to get new people to sign up for their, for their platform, so they offer promos. And some of these promos are really, really good, really profitable. So as a sharp better, we just take advantage of the profitable promos. Like you can see right here, DraftKings had a $2,000 deposit reload. That's the easiest money you're ever going to make sports betting. You just have to deposit, right? And you get free money. And why do sportsbooks offer this? Well, they offer this, again, because... They want to keep people hooked in. They want to keep people depositing more money. And most people don't know what they're doing. Most people aren't sharp bettors. They're not sophisticated. They don't know how to bet. So if DraftKings gets them hooked in, they'll make a lot of money off that customer long term, but not us, right? So you have to stay disciplined, but some of these promos are insanely profitable. And, you know, I make a lot of money. A lot of the initial money I made off DraftKings was just coming from promos. I'm not even doing anything complicated. So after making, you know, after I started making some money um, on DraftKings just from betting their promos, I wasn't even, you know, placing a lot of bets. I kind of wanted to take my game to the next level. I was like, wow, I'm building up my bankroll on DraftKings. How can I do this quicker? How can I make more money? So I started to Google around 
And again, like, you know, don't fall for the BS schemes. Oh, turn $10 into a million with this parlay. I mean, come on, give me a break. That's absolute BS. But what I stumbled upon was arbitrage betting. Read about it. Risk-free money sports betting, right? It sounds crazy. It sounds too good to be true, but read about it. Try it yourself. What arbitrage betting is, is because sports books have different odds from one another, essentially you're taking advantage of differences in odds between sports books to make a risk-free profit, right? So FanDuel has different odds than DraftKings. Sometimes you can bet on, let's say the Lakers on FanDuel, the Nuggets on DraftKings and make a risk-free profit due to inefficiencies in the market. These sports books have different models. They have different odds from one another. So arbitrage betting is actually how I made my first $40,000 sports betting. Man, I used to get home from work, start finding arbitrage bets, buy a Corona, right? And what's amazing about sports betting, what you have to remember that is so awesome about sports betting is, you know, the market's open 24 seven, the stock market closes at 4 PM, right? But there's always sports going on, you know, so you can always find good bets on weekends, stuff like that. So this is kind of a side hustle arbitrage betting that you can do whenever you're free. So I used to get home from work at 5 PM the markets, the financial markets closed at 4 p.m. So I got off work around 4 p.m. I would get home and I would start looking for arbitrage bets. And then I would start gambling on sports books. So I went from gambling in financial markets, the stock market at work, like in my day job, get home, start gambling on sports books, right? With my own money. Um, and that's really how I made my first, you know, 40,000 or so dollars sports betting was from arbitrage betting. I absolutely love it. Um, risk-free profit sports betting. You have to be fast to get arbitrage bets down, and I'll show you here in a second how to find arbitrage bets, but you can make a lot of money um, from arbitrage betting, and I owe, you know, now that I'm out of my job, like I owe, I owe a lot of that to, just to being a successful arbitrage better and being able to make, you know, 50, 100 bucks a day from arbitrage betting when I got home from work. So this is arbitrage betting, right? Odds Jam has a tool for arbitrage betting. I absolutely love this, but you have to move quick, right? You're taking advantage of inefficiencies in the market. So you have to move quick. So I would get home from work. I would pull up all my sports book accounts and essentially like DraftKings has, you know, literally there's millions of odds across all these sports books. Most bets are not arbitrage plays, but odds jam is scanning the market, you know, updating millions of odds a second to point out these sports book, big discrepancies where you can place bets on an over and an under or a team and the opposing team on two different sports books and make a risk-free profit. So here you can see there's a play on Brian Wu. So you can earn a risk-free profit of 2.28%. That's crazy. This game is today, right? You can earn a risk-free profit of 2.28%. So if you have, let's say, $200 in your parlay play account, 166 in your Betway account, you make a risk-free 858. Then, and this is all I would do. I would hit an arbitrage bet. This is a six pack of Coronas in Pennsylvania where I was living. It's not gonna be a six pack of Coronas, unfortunately, in California. Stuff's gonna be 16 bucks. But when you're in Pennsylvania, I mean, like, that's a lot of money. This was a Chipotle burrito. So I would get home from work. I would refresh the arbitrage page, look for arbitrage bets, and just lock in, you know, essentially risk-free money every single night. And that's how I built my bankroll. Um, very quickly made $40,000 a profit on DraftKings Sportsbook.